we're going to look at the new up to stream app board from Arlick Audio. This is a brand new one that I was just sent to check out. I've been using their boards here for a long time. When you hear music playing, sometimes in the background you get the radio playing. It's coming from one of these built into a pair of speakers. This is another new one that they've got out now. And we're going to take a look at this together. Hook it up to a pair of speakers and uh, we'll take a listen to it. So this is the board here. Speakers plug in over here. This has got an amplifier built in. We'll look at the specifications on this momentarily. But before we get to that, let's uh, just take a look at the board itself. And I'll have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. That's why the two antennas has a Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi receiver, 2.4 gigahertz. On the board itself, we've got a LAN connector. We've got a USB connector. We've got another USB mini, a micro USB, I should say. And this would be probably an audio input, I think. This is audio in. These units are great for building into a cabinet or build them right into the speakers, which is what I've done before. And this, this one can operate as a stereo or a mono board. So if you're just building yourself a smart speaker and you just want a single speaker, you just move these jumpers from the stereo to mono. And that'll double your output power from the amplifier itself. And let's just look at the specifications on here. So our specifications is it's got uh, um, 802.11BGN 2.4 gigahertz, obviously. <clears throat> it has a single 10100 RS45. Supports Bluetooth 5.0 SBS AAC. Host mode USB music. Bluetooth distance is 10 meters, so 33 feet. Power input is 12 to 24 volts through the power input on here, wherever that is, right there. There's the plug. Audio output, here, uh, oh, and also we've got um, analog input. This is an input 3.5 millimeter, not an output. And um, analog output, you've got the speaker output. That's your speakers here. It also has a four pin connector and a two pin connector and spitoff. So on here, there will be a four pin connector for audio out. I got auxiliary two, it's got phono in and um, digital output encoder should be a plug on here for audio output DAC output is over here yeah that's probably it right there that'll be your audio out amplifier is here here's our output power so in mono mode at 24 volts into a 2 ohm load you've got 100 watts 60 watts into a 4 ohm load or 30 watts or into 8 ohm load at 18 volts and 60 watts at 4 ohms into 20 at 21 volts for uh, stereo you've got 2 times 50 watts into a 4 ohm load feeding at 21 volts uh, 2 times 30 watts into an 8 ohm load at 24 volts input and at 15 volts you've got 2 times 15 watts so you have about 12 watts at per channel at, at, at 12 volts roughly. Your total harmonic distortion is 0.03 percent one kilohertz at 50 watts plus 50 watts 24 volts into 4 ohms. Uh, speaker impedance 4 to 8 ohms and it supports FLAC, MP3, AAC, AAC+, ALAC, APE and WAVE. Decoding is tw up to 24 bit at 192 kilohertz and protocol on here airplay DLNA UP and P Spotify connect QPlay and you can use a remote control on here So these are pretty simple. We use the, um, the Four stream app which is, I've already got that on my phone So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to a couple speakers. Oh, and you can also also create your own uh, keyboard so there's a, a key input so it's, it's one of the pins on this header here so if you want to build a remote control or, or buttons that would control mode pause play next previous volume up volume down mute number one number two number three number four etc you can build it with a uh, resistor ladder and it goes into the key input between your three point use a 3.3 output with a 10k resistor to pull it up and uh, then this this pulls it down to ground and it measures the resistance but we don't use that nobody does that uh, we use um, our phone to control it obviously so I'm gonna hook up some speakers to the plug 
and uh, we'll get this thing going and this will just be a quick demo and I'll, I'll play some online content and stuff with it and show you guys how it works. So let me get the speakers hooked up back and actually list everything. So all of your inputs here, see, um, here's your key. Uh, where was it here? Audio out left and right, audio ground, digital ground output. There's your VCC, ground, RX, TX reset, LED green, white, blue, red. There's the key. That's the one you would hook up for uh, external keys. And um, also on the back here, this SPDIF, M clock, IIS data, etc. SPDIF here. And here's your speaker outputs. So on the, on the back here, you've got your left negative and positive and your right negative and positive. And, that, and if you're dealing with mono, it's your two negatives are parallel and your two positives are parallel. For mono, I'll put that doubles the power. But for stereo, this is what we're going to deal with here. It even comes with a little screwdriver. So I'm going to hook up the wires accordingly and uh, we'll get this thing going. Okay, so speaker wires are connected. I'm going to plug this in. Snaps in just like that. Let me get my power supply. I'll we'll set it for 24 volts and watch the smoke. So power it up and it's going to talk to me here in a minute. And it's going to ask me to connect it to my Wi-Fi system. There we go. So it's now ready to go. If I go to four stream. Entering setup mode. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. So I'm going to go to the app and I've got my Bluetooth my Bluetooth turned on on my phone. As you can see, I've got four systems already set up right now. And if I go in here, I don't have any music playing at the moment, but I go in here, I go to browse and I pick my radio station I like to listen to, which I usually listen to, Wave 98.3. You'll hear it come on on the speakers in the background in a second here. Entering setup mode. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. You can probably hear the music now. I can, I can turn that to speaker up. It's going to work exactly the same as this, right? So, um, I got all my speakers in the house set. So I got a bunch of these that are synchronized. So when I turn this on, all the boards I have in the house, some of them are preamped, some of them are built into a speaker. I've got one just similar to this, different model, but it's very similar to this. Set in mono mode, put into a little wooden speaker, and I call it, I, I named them Woody. It's a little uh, Radio Shack Minimus 5 that I replaced the driver on, and it sounds very good. It sits in my kitchen. Anyway, to add another one, I'm going to go to Devices, click Plus. Indicator is blinking. You got it. It's blinking. It's going to search out the device, and it's founding. It's founding. It's found uh, sound system A285 BLE. So I click on here, and um, I click on Set up this device, and it's now going to ask me to um, connect this to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm just waiting for it. I'm going to connect it to my my network, so I gotta enter my password. Either I put the password in correctly or I didn't, and if I didn't, I'll have to I'll have to reset it. We wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Connected to your Wi-Fi network. There we go. I'm now connected. And the light stops blinking. I'm now successfully connected. And then I can give this thing a name. I'm not going to give it a name for this right now. I'll just leave it at Sound System A285 because this is a, this one won't be staying. I doubt this one will be staying on my network. I've got other ones that I use uh, that are already set up. So I've set it up and uh, I can now, um, I'll just leave it at that. And now if you look down here, you'll see one called Sound System A285. And if I click on here, music, there's no music. And if I want to add this, I can just, I can go up here. I can just click uh, Add. And I can actually add this one to the existing network. Or I can have something completely different. So in this case, I've got something totally different. And I can uh, select what I want to play on here. So for example, if I go down here to this one. And uh, what am I doing? Uh, here we go. Device. First of all, I can select whether I want it to play stereo. Or whether I want it to play just the left or the right channel. Um, by clicking that. Right left, channel. left channel only. Right channel. Right channel only. Stereo. Our stereo. It's in stereo. I've got two speakers. If I clicked on um, 
browse. Now, here's where I have things get interesting because I can pick whether I want to pick up from Wi-Fi or Line-In or Bluetooth or USB. So, for example, if I put it on USB and I plug something into the back here, I can play the music on the USB stick. So, let's do that. Got a little USB stick. Yeah, I know it looks kind of like it's a micro SD card in a USB adapter, and that's because that's what it is, but it will do. We'll plug that in, and if I switch over to the, I'm going to get back into the right mode here. Well, it automatically detected anyway, so I can now control the volume. <laughs> Night turns red when it's on USB mode. You know, it's funny, I, I phoned work uh, the other day, I was phoning one of the departments at work, and they put me on hold and this music came on the phone system, and I recognized that this song, this song came on. As soon as they put me on hold, I was I had to talk to loyalty and retention for a customer, and I, when I got put on hold, it, all of a sudden, the song pops up on the on the phone. And, hey, wait a minute! I know that song. I've got it. I can hit shuffle on here. I think is that shuffle? I don't know. Shuffle's over here. So now I'm on shuffle, and then it'll it'll now when the song finishes playing, it will play that it'll play one in random here. So you can load all your music onto a USB stick and plug it in and just set it up and let it play which is what a lot of people do with these boards if they're not playing streaming music but of course having both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in allows you to stream from radio stations or any music service but you have that flexibility that you can pick something from your USB stick and just have it play nice feature I quite, actually quite often do that um, have music that I just put on a USB stick and let it play. Now if I go back here, if I go back to here and I, I can select uh, Bluetooth in. Now if I switch to Bluetooth in, the light will turn to blue. So go to connections, Bluetooth, and I will see the sound system show up here. That one. Click onto this one and it will pair and that light will stop flashing. And now it is paired. There, now the light stops flashing. Now when I select my music off of the uh, the phone, it will play through this system. And if I turn up the volume on the phone, that's how simple that is. So that way anything that's on the phone, I can play through my speakers that are connected by Bluetooth up to 10 meters away. Nice feature if you don't want to have your music on a USB stick and you can control it all through the phone. A great feature, but what I find even better on this is the fact that you can do internet radio. So if I go back here, I get out of here, I go back, for stream app, and I want to go to Wi-Fi. So now I go over to Wi-Fi and it will switch over to Wi-Fi. Now, if I go to browse, I can now pick anything that I want uh, from Tune in radio, internet radio. I usually go to internet radio. So if I go to internet radio, I can pick anything. If I want to go to, say, music, and I want to go to jazz, because that's what I listen to, all stations, and then I can pick anywhere. I can go to Canada. I have to listen to the ad? Really? That just happens to be the local station that I happen to have playing 
in the background, uh, but that's Wave 98.3 uh, out of Vancouver. I just grabbed it here because they're on virtual tuner. I don't want to let Gordon Lightfoot play there for more than a few seconds or he will get nailed with copyright for sure. But again, you can pull stations from pretty much anywhere in the world. Go to the United States and see what type of stations I can find here. So 101 Smooth Jazz, I'm in the jazz category, so this should pull this station down if it's on the air. Soon there the end go. of the year will be here, making it the perfect time to use your vision benefits before they expire. Ads! Just visit ads! They're putting ads on here now. Arrange eye exams for the whole family. Get back on their way. That's really how simple it is. It's a, a great way to listen to internet radio and you can hook this up to your own high quality speakers. And that's what the beauty of these little boards are, is you can build this into the speaker, put it right inside the speaker cabinet and an extra set of wires out to the second speaker, which is exactly what I've done, the one that I've got in the shop here. I took one of these boards, I built it right into the speaker and I used the binding posts that were on the back of the speakers, right? I connected the wires directly to one speaker. The other ones I connected to the binding post where I disconnected the wires that went to the speaker. They're now connected to the other output and then I just connect a set of wires from one speaker to the other. And that's my stereo speakers using one of these boards. They are great and uh, I think every, anybody who gets one of these will really appreciate. Um, they work exactly or pretty darn close to how Sonos operate. You could operate them in sync. Um, I didn't show that, but if I go back here to device, for example, if I want to add this device to the one that's already playing in the background, I can just click on here and click add, and I can just add this one here and click done. And now this one will sync with the radio that's already playing in the background. And uh, I call that my play damp speaker. So if I turn that one up, you'll hear the other one. And then, of course, there's this one here, which is Sound System A285. They play in sync with each other. So you can have as many systems as you want in your house. You can have speakers in every room, and they will all play in sync with no echo between the rooms. You can hear the speaker in the background here. If I turn it up just a little bit, and then I turn this one up. There's no echo. Everything is in sync with each other. That's, um, and if I want to drop out uh, this one so it's no longer part of the network, I just hit the plus button, and now the one I want to drop out, I want to drop out Sound System A285. I just uncheck it, click done, and this one will drop off so that it can operate as an independent system again. And now it's gone, and now it's, it's its own independent system. So if I go in here and I click browse, I can go to TuneIn Radio or any other source. If I go to TuneIn Radio, for example, and I want to put on whatever is on here, I don't know what's Sportsnet 650. Let's go to Sportsnet 650 and play, press play. And now I will get the Sportsnet 650, Vancouver. Again, I was telling Troy, you usually put 15 year olds on the ice to give them experience. What it feels like. So there you go. I mean, that's that's how simple I can uh, show this unit off. I'm just going to go turn that other one down. So if I go back to my devices and I go back to the play damp speakers and I can turn the other one down in the background so that it's not too loud. But that's, uh, that's a little quick rundown on this new speaker or this new amplifier board from Arlick. It's the up to stream amp stereo. It can run either stereo or mono. And uh, I think they got a first rate product. That's why I'm really happy to review them because I've been using these systems myself for several years now and they run 24 hours a day. I never, I never shut them off and they've been flawless. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll put a link in the description. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.